Today we're going to finish up our Peruvian textiles. Now the first thing that we're going to do is fill in any big white areas on our paper with oil pastel. So I actually got a lot of my paper filled in with paint, but just in case you think you have an area that has a little bit too much white, we can use these pastels to fill it in. So I think I'm going to use this blue pastel to put a stripe right here in this large white area. Now when you use your pastels, you want to be very careful to make your lines straight and neat, just like we were practicing with the paint. I'm also pressing nice and hard so that the color of the pastel is really thick and bright and it kind of looks like paint. There we go. Another way that you can use pastels is you can add extra decoration on top of the stripes that you've already made. So for example, if I want to take a light yellow color and do a little bit of extra decoration on my stripes, I can do that as well. Now this part is optional. Some people like just a more simple striped blanket and that's fine. But if you think that your blanket needs a little extra something, that is totally fine if you wanna decorate it. I'm gonna keep on using the pastels until I'm happy with my picture. When you're done with oil pastel, it's time for another important step. We're going to add some yarn tassels to the bottom of our textile. So to begin, I'm gonna get some pieces of different colored yarn. I'm also going to need a hole punch and some scissors. Now the first step is you have to take your hole punch and punch a couple holes in the bottom of your paper. Now there is an important step to this. Don't put your holes too close to the edge because if you do, they will easily rip out. So I like to push my hole punch up a little bit higher so that when I punch it, there's a lot of paper there to kind of hold my yarn in place. Now the next step after you have one or two or three holes punched is you're going to take some yarn. I think I'm going to start with this purple color. Now your yarn piece only needs to be about as long as a hole puncher, so that's kind of a good way to measure. I'll just lay my yarn out and give it a little trim. Now I'm going to use this piece to put through my hole. Now you can do this a lot of different ways, but I have a trick that I think has worked pretty well. So I'm going to show you one example of how to do it that has worked for me. I like to take my piece of yarn and fold it in half. Okay. And then I take the fold and I put it through the hole. So you have to kind of put that yarn behind it and poke the folded part through. And then I pull it through just a little bit like that so that you have a loop. Now I'm gonna put the ends of my yarn through the hole. And then you pull the ends tight. Now don't pull too tight or you'll rip your paper. I'm gonna do that step one more time. Make a hole where I want my tassel to go. And this time I'm going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to cut two pieces of yarn to put through the same hole. So let's lay out my guide of how long they need to be. I'm going to make them a little bit longer this time, I think. I want my tassels to have just a little more length. Now I'm going to take both pieces at the same time, fold them in half, and do the same thing. Put that fold behind the hole, push it through until you have your loop, and then put the ends of the yarn through the loop and pull gently. Now, like I said, you can use any other type of technique you want to put your yarn through. This is just the one that works for me. I'm going to keep on going until I have tassels all the way across the bottom of my paper.